So we are a positive behaviours for learning school, which basically means that we teach expectations that students are taught how they need to um, behave and what we expect of them. And then we uh, give positive reinforcement for people who are following those values. Um, and so some of the tips, I think just like anywhere, we really encourage our CRTs to go in and, and form great relationships with the students. Some of the CRTs that we have coming back regularly have got great relationships with the kids and the kids, when they see them coming in, they'll be like, hi. Um, so that's obviously our number one tip is relationship. Um, just following the processes I think is really helpful because the students know that this is what happens and this is what occurs. So it's a really, um, a really, the expectations are there and they're all sort of followed through. So students know what to expect. We um, have cards in our uh, bags on yard duty. So if you need support in the yard, you can send a card with a student. Also, it helps to be very consistent and firm at the beginning of the day um, and just have high expectations of our students. But if there are behavior issues in the classroom, it's always you can always call on someone from leadership to come and support you. That's, where we're, that's what we're here for <laughs> too. So we are a positive behaviour for learning school. So you'll notice up around the school and on the pack that the CRT gets is the matrix. Um, so we talk about being safe, happy and ready to learn in all areas of the school. Um, another thing that we use is focus one, focus two to try and get people's attention. So what happens is the teacher calls focus one, all the children clap once then when we've got everyone's attention, focus two, and they all clap twice. So that's from prep to six, that's a strategy that we use to try and bring people together. Um, it's also really important for us that we take the opportunity to um, teach through challenging behaviours. So asking children, you know, what are you doing? What should you be doing? those kinds of things, getting them to articulate that. Um, another thing that we're looking at at the moment a lot is around the zones of regulation and getting children to articulate, you know, how are you feeling when that happened? What are some better strategies you could put in place for next time? Because we really want the children to learn that all emotions are okay, but not all actions are. So how do we regulate our own emotions so that we interact with each other in an appropriate manner?